morning folks just taking off from my uh, last site of the trip work in the back end a little bit here to get it away from the mud because it gets stuck and it's hard to hard to get out of there wind seems to be as forecast which I'm pleased with I sometimes wonder you know it's my last leg and you, you want it to be favorable it's a little northwest breeze but not too bad been hearing a lot of motors though so I'm wondering if there's not another tournament going on it's about the only explanation I can why there would be so many motors especially since I haven't seen very few boats uh, since a week ago I think maybe one or two max it is Saturday and if there's a tournament that's what they would be doing on a day like today it's a nice day too so it's gonna get hot and there is a chance of rain again but I'm hoping I can get the boat on board the trailer before that happens without incident I'm hoping and I'm hoping also the ramp is clear even if there's a bunch of boats out they're not trying to go out when I get there it should be okay but we'll see and I gotta get water when I get out here on the open lake too so. I saw several deer last night actually three whitetail so there is whitetail and muleys around here both kind of go went across the horizon on the hill to the west so it's kind of interesting big thunderstorm moving in so we're off folks uh, the boats up on the trailer at the boat ramp here at Spring Lake recreational area I'll spend the night here uh, I've just been getting everything back in order for the road uh, kayak is up on the roof tied down about all I have left to do outside the boat is to pull the bimini's down and I've got to remember to take that stack off heater too before I take off down the road few things to do but uh, I'll do those after it gets later I may take the heater off in the morning so that I have some heat in the morning because sometimes it gets cool here in the evenings I'll wait on that either way I should be in good shape to get out of here pretty quickly in the morning I'm gonna just relax have a glass of wine I had a lunch so I'm not really that hungry I'll wait till a little later than usual for dinner and then walk down to the store and have an ice cream bar. I think that's an order. So otherwise, everything is in is going along fine. I'm pleased that crossing today was full of flat water, no bad winds to deal with coming into the dock. The dock went docking went very well, and pull out was. There's always a few little glitches, but it, for the most part, it went well. No problems to speak of. And I was real pleased again with the systems that I've put in place to make that work. The electric winch on the trailer is essential when I'm alone. The other thing that really made the difference is putting sliders on all the bunks. I built those myself and put them on the bunks to give the boat a lot more slippery surface to work on when you're trying to pull it up onto the bunks with the, the winch. And as it is, I do the, uh, I basically wind it in from remotely from either on the boat or from the dock so it works really good it's hot today I saw 90 earlier now it's back down to 89 I think it's clouding up a bit so we'll probably get some thunder showers later in the e evening here today so that's about it uh, close to the end of the trip here I still got some 435 miles or so to drive tomorrow but for the most part we're in good shape all right, folks, I'm on my way heading down uh, to Highway 14 from Spring Creek Recreational Area. Stop for fuel on the way out uh, to make sure I get home or back at least to uh, Watertown where I can get more fuel. So, uh, didn't get much sleep last night. Uh, thunderstorm moved through. Not much rain, but a lot of wind and just uh, made so much racket it kept me awake. I don't know if I got much more than about four hours sleep. I got up at four o'clock anyway and, uh, to do a little reading and, and then uh, some coffee and cookies and then later breakfast, wash dishes, 
cleaned up, made sure everything was in order the, before I took off. And uh, here I am on my way home. Here's the dam. Pulls back all this water for Hawaii. Pretty impressive. I saw water depths of 122 feet or more. So it's a pretty good size of body water and a substantial dam of the Missouri River. I thought there might be a turnout here that I could tell there was one right there, it looks like. And it wasn't marked. The light here is great this morning. I feel good being on my way home. It's, I always feel ex excited and some trepidation on a new trip, especially a new place, not knowing what to expect. But at the same time, I feel good when I'm heading home too. It's always good to go home. So uh, another adventure. We'll move on to the next one soon. A little more of a shot of the dam. Not probably a very good picture through a dirty windshield, but that's all I can do. Well, folks, it's uh, been a long trip. I'm about 15 minutes out from uh, Forest Lake where I staged from. Uh, it's been kind of cloudy all day. Various winds have not been getting very good mileage. Google Maps hasn't helped me much either. I end up uh, roads that I shouldn't be on. I have got to do a lot better planning in the future to avoid that. But otherwise, the uh, rig is trailed okay, no problems. Uh, en route, I stopped in Watertown for lunch to take a break, and uh, my arrival time looks like around 4.15 p.m. I left uh, the park there this morning at about 7 a.m., so it's a long day. Uh, it gives me a good test. This was the longest trip I've done so far, about 435 miles. Uh, it gives me confidence that I can probably do 500 miles without killing me. <laughs> uh, that's about the limit though because the day, days just get long, especially if you have a lot of city traffic. At any rate, I'll uh, be there soon. I'll probably do a little filming as I drive up into where I stage just so you can see where I'm at. Uh, otherwise, that's it for now. Alright, we're just uh, arriving here at Forest Lake, the staging point. Just pulling in here to the driveway. And this is a friend of mine that I, allows me to use uh, the stage here to hook up power at night or two before I part. And that way everything's charged up before I take the trip. And the refrigerator freezer is down to temperature and we're ready for the trip. So I stage here for at least at this point. And there we are. Stop. 